ओम नमस्ते yoga how how to worship change how is this possible to worship change how is it possible to overcome the suffering and everything in the world that is taking place i know it's easy for you to say to switch my television off but i have a family who watch it and they are not seeking and i am seeking you see every time i go to work someone is speaking about what is happening tragically in the world how can i worship all this you see a very good question very very good question initially it's not possible initially depending on what state your world is in and what is going on in your world it may seem like impossible but it's not you see worshiping change is the same as every other word in the dictionary it is trusting in these words that over a period of time everything will be as it is spoken it is about acknowledging your awareness and recognizing change has happened and you recognized it even though you find it very very difficult to worship the outcome of this change when the scab on the lip appears and you look in the mirror initially you'll go oh, no. oh many thoughts come in i have to go to work is it contagious is it going to be laughed at and am i am i going to be mocked how did i get it you know it's in google i must google scab on face whatever right all of this can come this is all changing to deal with this scab. Worshipping change means once all the thoughts come and go, you become aware that you didn't worship these thoughts, but the awareness says, I recognized at the end of all these thoughts that the words that Popsy spoke, came and woke me up slightly and said, oh, 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 okay, yeah, okay, yeah. All these thoughts came, all these thoughts went. I didn't worship them. I found it mind too, too overpowering to worship. But now I recognize that I am aware that I didn't worship see now i can worship the recognition that i didn't recognize these thoughts initially but now i do first step you heard of the term awakening awakening is not one singular thing it can happen to one person in one singular moment and it's all over no more sleep but most are awakening every time awareness kicks in every time awareness kicks in after all of the non-worshipping and all of the actions that are pretty normal and how you would actually recognize a scab on your face even i still do that you know even this body and mind says oh god's no problem see it becomes as quick as that you see 
the thoughts don't bug the, the change that is the removal of pain and suffering it's the thoughts that are causing the pain and suffering so when the thoughts are let go the recognition of that that they were negative thoughts is the point of worshiping you understand very slowly over a period of time if this awareness is allowed to come in and wake you up and this awareness is what I used to work in some company and I was mid enlightenment so it was very easy but this work colleague said a very good thing in a physical way that actually happens when awareness is kicking in when you're in a job when you're really in the job and you're doing all these things it's very good every now and then to take a step back and review what's been taking place that way there are little lesser chances of you making mistakes by doing things like a robot automatic pilot so awareness means take a step back scab on lip What am I going to do? How am I going to get rid of it? What cream is it? Where did it come from? Ah, oh, yes. Cream out. Oh, yes. Google. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ten minutes later. Don't ignore scab. Recognize. Okay. Well, learn you. I'm aware that all these thoughts came and I didn't worship the changes that I would love to worship. Scab is still here and I'm aware that it's here. Now I can worship the non-worshipping. You see? Now I can worship that I'm aware that I was not worshipping. Always one step ahead is the worshipper. Always the teacher to yourself. Osho says, observe yourself every day. That's what is meant. Be aware of what you have done and then forgive yourself for what you have done. If you see that you've done well, forgive yourself for saying, oh my God, that was so negative. That is very egoistic to say I done well, but I recognize that fact. Lifelong overcoming is a worshipping, you see, step by step overcoming this and that. Stay with it. No need for massive enlightenment, memory loss, seven years of dementia state. You can do it step by step. Be aware and trust that the changes that are coming in front of you, including the scab, are all coming for you so that you can overcome, recognize, and forgive yourself until no more recognition, no more scabs on the lip, just simply moving with life's dance. Namaste.